and welcome to Nicole Studios. Today's video is the phone lock screen intro tutorial, where I'll be showing you how to make that intro that you just saw in Procreate as well as Final Cut Pro for the editing. And with all of this, I just want to say that if you don't want to create this first part in Procreate, there are download links to the pictures that I used and you can customize them to your liking. So first I'm going to go into Procreate and insert some text. So with this first piece of text, I'm going to put in the time. So 10, 15 PM. And then below I wrote 85% charging and then found a font that I liked. So for the font that I chose, it's actually called Avenir. And then I just chose different styles in the Avenir font. And then I wrote swipe up to open and place that at the bottom of the screen as well as making it tinier than the original font because it only needs to be tiny. Then I drew a gray line underneath this swipe up to open text like it is on the phone. So next I created a rectangle and then made it rounded edges. You could also create this shape in Final Cut Pro, but I just was using the drawing software already. So I decided to stick with that. Then I filled that shape with the same color I drew the outline with. Now I added a image of a message bubble and proceeded to write messages. And I actually did it wrong the first time because in the actual iPhone, it is all capitalized. So I fixed that later, but I just wanted to let you know that messages should be in all caps. And then I also added now to the other corner like it is, or you could write one minute or however long you want it to be since that first message has appeared on your screen. After that, I wrote Nicole Studios as the person who was sending the message and proceeded to write my message below that. So then I pulled those into Final Cut Pro as well as a picture. So I chose like a, a mountain range. First, I'm gonna scale it up because it didn't fit the project parameters. And once I have that scaled up to my liking, I'm gonna take the first image, the time, and place that on top. Since we scaled up the image, I'm gonna change the image position a little bit so that you can better see the time and the charging percentage on the screen. So then I'm gonna add a focus onto that image layer and kind of play around with the emphasis and the softness. Next, I'm gonna take one of my message layers and place that on top. So I used the same template for both these message layers. I just changed the text at the bottom and added a little picture for the YouTube video. Now I'm gonna scale that down and just make sure that the two messages are the same size. So I kind of played around with the size till I liked it and made them both that same size. And then I'm going to decrease the length of both. The first one is gonna be the longer one. And then the one that pops up second is going to be shorter, but you want them all to be shorter than the longest clip, if that makes sense. Now goes to the part when that second image pops up and click on the layer below that. And the reason we're doing this is so we can add a keyframe at position with that keyframe at position, then go back a few frames further and pull your image up to the top. This will create a animation where it goes down when the second one pops up. So with that first image with your playhead at the beginning of that clip, go and change the opacity to zero. Then go a few frames forward and change the opacity back to 100%. That will create a kind of fade in effect. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the second message so it flows a little bit better. And that is the basis of this effect. So and now you know how to do this and you can add your own flair and you can make this as complicated or as easy as you want. If you wanna see more videos, Final Cut Pro effects, tutorials, uh, filmmaking, editing, all that sort of stuff we do on this channel. So if you wanna see more, make sure to subscribe down below and comment what you want me to do next. It can be anything simple, hard, just let me know and I will try my best to get to it. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day.